Eating old or expired food is extremely dangerous. We do this at home, but you shouldn't. Ever pulled expired food from the pantry and asked the question, can I still eat this? Man, <sighs> old cans, bottles, and boxes of forgotten foods lie hidden everywhere. This is still sealed. 1947. 1962. 1921. Oh, no way. But are they still edible? Tastes like a basement. I'm Josh. I'm Old Smokey. And we're collectors of edible artifacts. What do they tell us about our past? This is mind blowing. And what other secrets are sealed inside? What is that? But the relics we find don't go on a dusty shelf. We eat them. This is one of the closest things to time travel I can think of. It's not always safe. It's not always good. Oh. But if we can stomach it. It's delicious. We want to know. That was it. Oh my gosh. Did this food stand the test of time? It's absolutely fantastic. Gettysburg was the largest and really the most brutal and bloody battle in American history. Yes. But 50 years later, there was this reunion. The North and the South put their differences aside and came together for this reunion. There were guys that showed up from 46 of the 48 states. Wow. And they might have traveled for a week just to get there. And that's where this comes from. What is that? This is hardtack from the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. Wow. This is over 100 years old. Yes. From 1913, it's 106. Hardtack kept soldiers alive during the Civil War. It basically just contains some flour, a little bit of water, a little bit of salt. And they just keep baking it over and over to get the moisture out of it. It just stops the aging process. And that's why it gets so hard. Holy moly. It's not every day that we have this type of history on our table. And it was just wrapped in newspaper and that ribbon? I wouldn't say it's just newspaper. This paper was dated June 29, 1913. That's whenever the reunion started. Yeah. We have this other piece of paper right here. The guy that actually got this in 1913 documented it. OK, so Gettysburg, July 1913, hardtack or bread reunion. Anniversary Battle Gettysburg. Having that kind of documentation does not hardly ever happen. This is mind blowing. This is monumental in American history. The guys were handed nine or 10 pieces of this for their daily rations, but what's really crazy, heart attack was pretty widely hated <laughs> because sometimes this stuff would get actual maggots on it. So the guys would pull the bugs off eat those and toss the hardtack. That's, that's how bad it is. That's brutal. So this is kind of the precursor to the MRE. And before the K rations of World War II, soldiers as far back as ancient Rome could count on one thing in their daily ration, hardtack. Hardtack could feed an army for months. Even after the advent of canned food pioneered by Napoleon's forces in the 1800s, soldiers were still issued hardtack up until the First World War. So I recognize the NBC on this cracker, the National Biscuit Company the precursor to what we now know as Nabisco, right? This is not something that most people can say that they've even seen, let alone gotten to eat. Yeah. There's no mold on there. It's basically perfect. Yeah. You want to break off a little piece? There you go. It's a once in a lifetime thing. The 50th anniversary of Gettysburg. This is magical, man. It really is. A 106 year old food that we're going to try to eat. So dry. so dry. That tastes like a basement. It does, a mildewy basement. It sucked the moisture right out of my mouth. It's like a desert, boom. It is definitely one of the driest things I've ever eaten in my life. You now know why the soldiers were mixing it with water or coffee or river water to make that brown pudding. I mean, they were using brown sugar, anything they could do to make it taste better. Yeah, man, just eating it in its raw form is difficult. But that's what they had to survive on. Wow. I got a, I wouldn't call it a mouthful, but it's still in there. It's kind of bleachy. It's stuck in all my teeth. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect it to taste good. I'm with you. So 
I'm honored to have gotten to try this. I know these men, whenever they dug into this, it brought back memories. And we get to experience what brought memories back for them. That in itself, I don't have a word for it. You weren't lying when you said this is the coolest thing that's ever graced this table, because it really, really is.